welcome to Two Cooks in the Kitchen. So, uh, what, Two Cooks out of the kitchen today. Uh, cocktail hour started quite a while ago and uh, we're going camping tomorrow and we realized we wanted to bring cookies, but we didn't make any. So we're gonna make some peanut butter cookies. I have a cube of softened butter. And to that, I'm gonna add a cup and a half of brown sugar. And I do like to do this with the mixer because this is a lot of work, but the idea is to get the butter and the sugar completely creamed together before you add anything else. And this is one of those, just uh, a lot of elbow grease involved. So we're creaming, creaming, creaming. Well, I, I want to point out that I suggested the spoon and he says he had to do a fork. So, you know, this is where people have uh, differing views on how to do it. So you can also use a big spoon. It's okay. To cream butter and sugar? Yeah, you whip it up, man. Whip it. Man. I know. But I don't know. That's how I've always done it. But that's okay. I like the mixer. <laughs> does all the work for you. We could have brought it outside. We could have. But that, you know, these cookies are going to be made with love. Outdoor cookies, because we're going to eat them outdoors. Love and elbow grease. All right, so once we get the butter and sugar all creamed together, and that looks really, really good to me, we're going to add some liquid. First, we have our egg. And we have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm pretty sure Simon's gonna come up and help. So we're gonna mix all that up. Get that in there. Now we're getting something that's it's a little bit loose. It's a much easier to work with but we're gonna totally ruin that all right so we got that now we add our one cup Oops. of peanut butter oh did I say that that was a cup and a quarter of a cup and a half of brown sugar so here comes our cup of peanut butter we prefer chunky peanut butter Chunkies, in this household. Chunky really helps with these cookies because you want those bites of nuts. And even though we're going to add peanuts, it, it really helps to have the chunky peanut butter. Okay, now we got to get that worked in here a little bit. That's looking pretty good. So, to this, we're going to add a half cup of sweetened shredded coconut. This is very important. It has a lot to do with how the cookies, the texture of the cookies when they're done. And then, this is a half cup of peanuts, except I like to add a few more. So this is almost three quarters of a cup. And then we just mix and mix and mix. Here's where things start to thicken up a little bit. We're going to add, total this takes a, half, a cup and a half of flour. We're going to add about a cup of it right now. And a tablespoon of baking soda. There's no salt in this one? There's no salt. Oh, that's interesting. It is interesting. So now some... we're getting this. Excuse bit, me while I drink. To where the mixture starts to get a little bit thicker. And this is where it's really nice to have the mixer doing the work for you. But I'll tell you, this can all be done by hand. I 
I lived off the grid and made cookies where there wasn't any electricity and there weren't any mixers for a lot of years. It comes out just fine. Oh man, that's thirsty work. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to add the rest of our flour. And this will just, uh, just get thicker and thicker. It's getting hard to move. Ooh, Simon just did a zoom. Yeah. Totally hear that hummingbird chirping back there. Uh. Okay, and there we have. Oh man. <laughs> Our peanut butter cookie. So, we're uh, just about done. You make a ball out of these, try and get them even. It doesn't matter if you do or not, but you know, and then you flatten them down. And then you, I like my cookies to have that little crunchy top that you can get on a meat fork and a little trick I learned from Alton Brown is if you slide the fork out it doesn't stick to the cookie so much if you try and lift up sometimes you end up messing everything up but since these cookies are so chunky the fork often doesn't go very far down in but I'll tell you when it's done this adds that crunch to the top just doing this now these cookies are going to go into a 350 degree oven for I'd say 10 to 12 minutes. The recipe says 8 to 12 minutes, but I just can't see them being done in 8 minutes. It's not going to happen. So, so just, you know, this is, this is a rustic thing. They're not supposed to uh, all be exactly the same or anything. So there you have it, and we're ready to cook them. All right, so uh, our cookies are done. I like them to be a little brown on top, so I keep keep an eye on it. These actually spent about 16 minutes oh, that's a long time. in the oven. And then after you take them out, you got to let them sit for a couple minutes before you put them on the cooling rack. Um, otherwise, they'll just fall apart. And You wanted to mention the... But, um, Yes, I, I cook these on the silk hat. I, I really like these things. You don't have to use oil and, um, you know, our cookie sheets are a little uh, used, so. They're uh, well loved. Yes, so the silk hat's a nice clean thing and they always come off so easy. I highly recommend it. And uh, so for, uh, there's a little bit of dough left and I might make it just a big cookie. So if you have kids, you know, you could like make a big cookie and give it to your kids. Or you could cut it like pizza and give everybody a slice. Um, so uh, that's that for now. Um, make cookies, enjoy them. That's what life is for. So here we are social distance camping at Black Oak Ranch. Uh, we're out here uh, near the owl stage uh, in better years when there would actually be a bents here. But you can see looking that direction, our nearest neighbor is way far away. And in the other direction, we had a neighbor this morning, but they left. And, but they were also 
equally far away. Way down there. And, um, hmm? Way down there. Yeah, like, way down we there. We tried to guess. Yeah. Like, Football so field. this is what we made the cookies for, so we can have cookies on our camping trip, and uh, let's just see how they taste. Mmm. Now that is a crunchy, chewy delight right there. That's peanut buttery as can be. So thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen, and uh, we'll see you when we get back home. <laughs>